The UN General Secretary has said that if we do not turn things around by the end of this year, 2019, we risk the extinction of our species. The environment agencies at risk list include 35 underground stations, 8 power stations, more than 1,000 electricity substations, 400 schools, 16 hospitals and over half a million of Greater Londoners, roughly 3.3 million homes at risk of flooding. Climate change is not some far off distant problem that we can leave to future generations to solve. Climate change is the worst crime humanity has ever committed. Many will say that our demand of achieving a carbon neutral Europe by 2030 is unrealistic and will be bad for the economy, but frankly, so will flooding, drought, crop failure, starvation, and mass extinction. This is all because of a system gone mad, a toxic system that if we do not have the courage to change it right now, will bring death not only to people and, 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 and biodiversity far off this place, but eventually it will catch up with you over here. I'm asking people not to vote for me, but to vote for my colleague Days. She's a 19-year-old teenager who wishes to get into the European Parliament as a representative of all the teenagers in Europe who have been disenfranchised by this voting process and are the generation with the most to lose from the crimes against humanity being committed by the governments around Europe towards that generation. She is the most phenomenal and intelligent young woman who ironically can't be here because she has a university deadline. Four months ago I used to work in one of the plush offices over in the financial district. I was designing pension solutions that my kids aged 19 and 24 would have to save into for 30, 40 years. Based on the science, based on the inaction of our politicians, they won't need a share portfolio. They'll need shelter and food in 30 and 40 years time. My husband is Palestinian. He comes from Janine refugee camp one of the most brutal places in Palestine where 17,000 people live in a kilometer square. The effects of climate change are only making his situation and the situation of Palestinians worse and worse. In November, after an extremely hot summer of temperatures up to 45, Palestine began to be hit by flash floods, meaning in Janine, the roads became completely flooded. I came back to London and felt that I cannot sit in my country and do absolutely nothing. So that is why I'm here. I really want to highlight our candidate days, who we ask if you want to vote for one of us, then vote for her. She is fighting for a democracy that truly gives power back to the people, that truly represents the people. She is terrified for her future just as I am. And just like me, she will not sit idly by while the futures of so many are stripped away by the greed of just a few. Now is the time to rally the best of humanity to do what is best for all of us and save the planet.